Now that you know how to embed an image, let's embed our YouTube video. So click on edit and let's just remove this. Now click on the icon and search for the YouTube video and let's select thumbnail, medium, center and click on embed. And let's just save this. Okay, notice how the thumbnail has been embedded and not the actual player. What if you want the YouTube player to be embedded? Well, to do that, we'll need to create a custom view mode called embed, and then we'll need to configure that view mode to display the video URL field using a proper player formatter, and then we'll need to select that view mode when we embed the video. So let's first create the view mode. So go to structure, display modes, and click on view modes. And from here, you can manage all view modes from other entities. But notice how you can't see media. Well, that confused me at first, but don't worry. Just click on add view mode and you should see media here. Click on it and then call this embed and then click on save. Now go to structure, media bundles, and click on manage display on the video embed row. And then click on custom display settings and enable embed. Click on embed in the top right and remove every field other than video URL. and hide the label and make sure video is selected under format and click on save. Let's go back into our test article and if we click on it and we can't see our embed view mode and that is because we need to rebuild the site cache. So let me quickly do that. I'll open up another tab and then click on performance and then clear all caches. All right, let's close that tab, refresh. And then, and then we can see our embed view mode, select it and click on embed. And then if we click on save and keep published and go to the test article, we should see our embedded player.